three, four. Hey y'all! It's the Southern Snackers. I'm Brandon. I'm Emily. And I'm Bucky. <laughs> and we're all back together. Yo, and we went to Dairy Queen to get some oh. happy taste. Well, happy, happy tastes good. We got a blizzard. <laughs> Blizzard, y'all. I got Butterfinger. What y'all get? And there is an emergency. Y'all both got Butterfinger. Yeah, we yeah. are in the vehicle, as you can see. Not driving, though. <laughs> I got Butterfinger with whipped cream on top. See, y'all both got Butterfinger. Mm -hmm. I got Reese's. Mm. I didn't get whipped cream because I didn't know you had to ask for it. Yeah, me and Bucky didn't know. And then we were like, V, why do you have whipped cream? <laughs> yeah, this ain't fair. Sorry. Also, B set the precedent and got a large. So, of course, we had to get larges. Mm. And y'all. So, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> When I ordered first, oh my god! And I said, <laughs> "Can I get a large Butterfinger Blizzard?" Emily literally goes, "You're kind of large," <laughs> and y'all, the girls working in there were like, <laughs> "I didn't mean it though." I was just, "What is that sparkling over on Emily? Did y'all see that?" She's just sparkling. My hair? I don't know. I think it I was think your straw. No, it's like the sun, like or your spoon. It is a very sunny day here. And it is a beautiful day. And y'all, maneuvering a good angle in the car is difficult, so please bear yes. with us. Yes, know that we are actually 15 pounds skinnier <laughs> than how you are appearing. Objects may appear. <laughs> the angle's not great. <laughs> we are 15. <laughs> well, what are we going to talk about? I don't know. Well, I missed you all. Oh, yeah, viewers. you talked to the viewers. I've for seen minute. them. But I miss the viewers. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Sorry, I've been kind of MIA. Um, just been doing this, that, and the third. We told you about what those people said. I think we've mentioned <laughs> this in like every video. Say it again. They, they called us the Southern Slackers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we that, love that. Because honestly, like. We kind of are. Well, y'all are. We are, though. We have been lately. I mean, and y'all, like, we were just talking about this. One of our favorite things has been like every now and then we'll get a comment. That's like a conspiracy theory as to why Emily has not been on the channel. Yeah, we're still friends. And it is up. hysterical. Like, people literally, one person, Bucky reminded us that one person was like, Brandon and Bucky have been arguing so much lately. Emily <laughs> probably just favorite. had to get out of there. I just was like, y'all, this is it. And then people have been like, Emily's pregnant. After people have been like, years, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or more. We've been saying 10 years for three years. I say that all the time. So, like, it's been 13 to 15 years. To be sure. No, not 15. Well, we met in 07. How long yeah. is that? 14. So, almost 15. Uh, oh, my God. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Hang on. Me and Emily met in 07. We were freshmen in 07. Yeah. Freshmen in college. I promise. 18. No, I know. I'm, I'm just count. I'm trying to count. Because that does feel crazy. But, yeah, I mean, it's 22. Doesn't it feel weird to say 07? Yeah. But remember when that was, like, the thing? Yeah. Like, that was, like... When we got, when we like finally made it to the 2000s. Right. Yeah, because then you could say, oh, whatever. Because I read a funny thing the other day that was like 80s, it was like 80s babies realizing they've lived in four decades now. Right? Oh my God. Or five decades. Five. 80s, 90s, zeros, 10s, 20s. It's yeah. like we lived in five decades. trying to figure out how I'm only 30, but lived in five different decades. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's oh what the name God, is. Oh my God, that is so cool. Because if you were born in like the late 80s and you've lived in five decades. Oh. I thought somebody was asking Bucky a question. That's that guy, y'all. That guy held the door for us when, and then. The window's and, down, so oh, I don't know what you're going to say. And then when we, he held the door for us as we were leaving Dairy Queen and they were going in. And he's so Southern, y'all. He was like, y'all have a good one. Did y'all hear that? I love it. I like good. I like good. One. It was like our kind of have a good one. Which you don't really hear much in a city, you know. Yeah. Even though we're in the South. It is rare to hear that thick of an accent. Yeah. Like a small town accent. Good. There was that time that we were supposed to um, answer those questions, but we never did. We never oh, did yeah. a Q&A. What was that even like? My I God, I don't even remember, remember. what video we asked that on. That was a long time ago. Yeah, and that was like... Because y'all were at our place, talk, we were talking about it. Yeah. Was it on the Panera one? Let me look here. Boo, what? <laughs> did I burn my chin? No, no, no. no. And me and Bucky did Panera just us two oh, way after that. I was about to say that was literally at the beginning, right? I love y'all, but sometimes your bickering gives me anxiety. I'm always on the edge because I know it's coming. <laughs> no. And that's why Emily left. I had to add it. Yeah. This is my video. 
gosh. That is <laughs> no, so y'all. Funny. We've been hanging out. I mean, it is still. We have been hanging out. Stuff. We're just not film. We have not been filming together. Right. Well, we've just not been filming much in general. The Southern Slackers. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly. I'm kidding. No, yeah, I feel like y'all do do well. Because, you know, y'all, we all have jobs and stuff. It is just so funny, like... The other day, somebody commented, and they were like, if y'all would just quit your jobs and dedicate all your time to YouTube, you would have... But you could do it. I and I was I don't like, know. I, I don't mean, think we, we could. I mean, I tried. Not for... Maybe back in the day, like... I don't know how YouTube is it, anymore. Like, if people can really... Unless you have, like, a million subs, you know? Yeah. Well, and you've got to be so careful these days. Oh. I mean, just everything. Right. Honey, you can drink a Mountain Dew the wrong way and you'll be canceled. Wow. You know? Uh -oh. So, yeah, you got to behave and... Speaking of, there is a lot of YouTube drama. There is a lot. Um... We've kind of, been, I've kind of been watching some videos here and there. It's uh, pretty messy. Bucky, what are you doing back there? Okay, what are you I was just, Google I kind of zoned out. Sorry. I was Bucky's like, like trying to find the video where I even asked people to ask us questions because I was just gonna like say a couple. Okay. I cannot find. I don't know what video. I think was it was on. our Panera one. No, I looked. Was it on? Was it on our community tab? Oh, maybe. Uh, I feel like we might have put it on the community tab. This is really good, y'all. It is getting me off to y'all. It's a warm day here. Yeah, y'all, look at this. Not real warm, though. What do y'all think? It's I, warm I enough. I think it's, like, a good temperature. So like, good. I can be outside. I could be in shorts if I wanted to. Yeah. And maybe with, like, a little light hoodie. I love that. Period. Like, I, I love shorts and, like, a hoodie. Yeah. That is a good little outfit. It is one of those days, though, where, for me, it's a little bit annoying because it's, like... <sighs> It's cool enough to where you might wear pants and long sleeves, but then when you, if like, let's say you have to stand in the sun for five minutes, you are going to get hot. You're right. Because, I mean, yeah, just by our, our outfits, you would think it was cold. Yeah. Because it, it's like, yeah, it's like B said, if you're in the sun, it's warm. But if you wind up in the shade for a few minutes, then you'll be chilly. You'll be wishing you had your long sleeves on. So mm -hmm. we thought ahead, you know, being 31, almost 32, <laughs> we know the rules. We know how life works. Right. Most of it. Don't look out the door and see it sunny and then put on shorts and shorts leave. Okay, Because it may not be that warm. I found it. It was our Culver's video. Oh, So that's my been God. a while since, like, me and Brandon okay. did, like, a little Culver's video. Um, mm, I like Culver's. Like, Mama D said, what's... Oh, this is a good one. That's okay. kind of easy. What's your idea of the perfect date night? Oh, that's a cute question. Okay, well, y'all go first because you have each other here. I gotta think about me and Ern. Mm. Hi, Ernie, if you're watching. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> if I had to say, I would say perfect date night for me and Bucky would be play a round of tennis, <laughs> go out and eat somewhere that we love, like maybe Texas Roadhouse or somewhere like that. <gasps> somewhere, cute. you know, basic and chainy. Yeah. And then go home and just lay on the couch and watch a movie. They do love tennis. We all love tennis, but they like actually go play. Bucky? Um, I think that my perfect date night would be like, I guess a date night would mean like you stay in this, in the town. Yeah. I think like the perfect date would be yeah. like, yeah. like a night trip, like a day trip somewhere. But let's say you know, like you're staying at home kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. That's so true. I would say, yeah, I think honestly, what I ordering said? in, no, like mm. ordering in like some just bomb food from like multiple places and watching like mm. having like at least two or three movies oh like that a movie you just want to watch and like literally just you two like on the couch okay. yeah so you you're know. doing full night in yeah love that i think like i just love yeah oh that's really for cute. like a, a developed couple you know what I mean? You've done the not fun like stuff. New, like not yeah. new. A fully developed relationship. <laughs> right. A grown. But like, I don't think that should be like one of your first dates. Yeah. You need to get one. A relationship mind. that has gone through puberty, if you will. Right. Fully developed. Things are in full force. You can just sit on the couch together and it's yeah. cool. There's no pretending. Right. No. Did y'all kiss on the first date? Emily didn't house her perfect date. Oh. 
Wow. Anyone can sister of kissing. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me think. Honestly, yeah, I would like a kiss on a day. Yeah, that is true. So, um, it would probably, for me, I think it would be going out to eat. Yeah. I do love a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Going out to eat, honestly, y'all, I'm going to be for real right now. I've gotten to where, even if it's date night, I do enjoy wine, for sure. But I just want a Diet Coke, y'all. Really? Yeah. Mm. It is fun to drink. I don't know. But if I'm just really enjoying my food, I've gotten to wear just like a Diet Coke or an iced tea. So we'd probably do that. And then, honestly, maybe like go walk around some shops or something. Oh, I love that. See, Bucky won't do that with me, so I can't ever do that. Yeah, like, you go walk around like South shop. Park Mall. Yeah, like, that would be like cute. our perfect date together. Yeah, that'd but be Bucky fun. could you know never what do I that. I did like was what? walking around down downtown Greenville. That's oh, but that's, that's but pretty. that's different because that's like I going. Like, I like a new place to walk around. Okay, well one day we'll go walk around like downtown Monroe or something. Okay, I don't want to go downtown Monroe. Downtown Matthews. We have people that watch him Monroe, so they know that I. I doubt that they want to go walk downtown Monroe. Matthews, that's where I go. That's really cute. Um, yeah. Y'all ready for And then maybe one? just come back. Yeah, sure. I this one's for it. Emily. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Emily, what's the funniest moment you can remember living as a trio? <laughs> well, we've never lived together. Mm -mm. Um, I'm sorry if we've led that. But we on. have definitely lived together. That's we've true. We've, had a we've great been time. living. <laughs> we've lived our best lives. For, at, at the for same how time. many years now? Fourteen. We don't. Nearly fifteen years. <laughs> half of our life. <laughs> that what's crazy is it when you think about it. We are almost too. near the point in our lives where we would have known each other for half of our life. Mm, oh my God. That's weird. That is so Isn't that bizarre. crazy to think about? It how is, but it's bizarre. also not. How bizarre. Because I actually like I've known y'all forever. Yeah. But I can't. So that like, does like make makes sense. sense. Yeah. But it is kind of also like crazy. Um. What was the question? Family? Like living as funniest memory. Oh, well, funniest lives. memory. I funniest basically memory. I think I take it as like, what's the funniest memory that y'all can think of of all of us together? Of the three of us. The funny. I mean, there's literally just been like. There's so many memories that it's like, I got to sort them. Which blank. ones were fun? I mean, they've all been kind of funny. Because we're always kind of laughing together. I'm trying to think of anything that sticks out. You know what I mean? Like, it's always kind of like we're This we're is going to be so stupid. Oh, gosh. But, like, literally, I think one of the, like, genuinely funniest moments. It's a oh specific God. moment. V has told this story so many times. <laughs> I know no, I'm, okay, I know what you're going to say, <laughs> but that's not what I was going to say. Got new but no, okay, but he's got a new answer. No, tell the new one. My original answer was going to be, there are sometimes moments when the three of us would just be sitting on the couch, and we would just get tickled. <laughs> Oh, over yeah. like nothing but That's then we'll, true. but then we'll each start like saying another little funny <laughs> joke and it'll like snowball into like just complete yeah. chaos, chaos of us just laughing but That's the funny true. story that I think Emily was talking about what I, I know is it the time it. is it with Chris no it was your cake <laughs> But the Chris it. thing is good too, though. What happened at that point? Honestly, I think the Chris thing, remembering Chris. <laughs> oh, no. This is just embarrassing. <laughs> that is funny. If you can tell it, but it makes me feel okay, bad. Okay, so, too, the one Emily's talking about is when we were in college, we went to play tennis. Me and Emily did. Mm -hmm. and all three of us. Okay, all three of us went to play tennis. And Emily had got me a, ca a cookie cake for my birthday. It, it was, was my birthday. birthday. And literally, it said, Happy Birthday, Brandon. And in the car... <laughs> She's like, she's like, we have to go up because there's a cookie cake with your name on it. And then it was like, okay. And then when we got up in the apartment, she was like, look, it's literally a cookie cake with your name on it. Did you know that expression? Oh my it's God. It's got your name on it. Like, yeah, like there eat. is something with your name on it. Like, and literally it. it did. That sounded so much lamer than it. It was yeah. so funny in person. I thought it sounded lame every time you told me. <laughs> it was so funny though. Because the way she, when we got in the apartment, she like took it off that little kitchen and she was like, look, it literally has your name on it. And I was, I lost, I lost it. There is, a, and there's cake. a picture of us oh, holding God. that Don't cake up. Don't insert it. Don't <laughs> Do you know yes, what? I know. <laughs> We're, that we're, like we're like we're in sweat. We're like in sweats, and I'm literally holding the cake up. That we're has my like name on sweaty because we all just played tennis. 
But the other story was... It is a cute picture, though. Our college roommate, Chris, <laughs> um, him and his wife lived in Raleigh at the same time Emily did. Well, we went to visit them when we were out eating at a Mexican restaurant outside on the patio. This is so sad. And Emily... And me and Chris I, were in the same class as big. You know, like, we yeah, all went to And his together. wife's name is Elena. And I knew them. And Emily just happened to be going to dinner, I think, in, like, the same little village. Like, little... I surprised little, y'all. But it, I said village, village because it was Cameron Village. So, yeah. calm down. But if little you area. you Raleigh, you know that. Anyway. And, um... So, remember. we texted her and said, oh, we're out here at dinner with Chris and Lena. You should come by and say, hey. So, she did. <laughs> so, she walks up with her friend, who I think was like a live girl. Uh, with you. Wait, were you a <laughs> I, I came solo, but I ran into people there that I knew separately. Who it was a lot. Yeah, it was kind of a lot. Anyway, so then Emily walks up to our table. And she's like, this is my friends, Brandon and Bucky. <laughs> and that's Elena. And that's, um... Oh. Um, just blank. Oh, just completely it forgot was his name. So sad. after going to school for four years together, and y'all, Chris, our friend, is like, he's funny. He's funny. He's got a funny. And so the way he handled it was like hysterical. He was like sitting there like, <laughs> <laughs> like he was not me it out. It was really funny. And he shouldn't because I've known him since we were freshmen. Oh, and, and he was actually just at their wedding. And it like, was so I good. think he still picks on me about that because yeah. it was so funny. It was. I felt terrible. Anyway, is there another question? There's so many. I'm kind of just going through them real quick. It's just so hard to think of all the memories. Like, it, yeah. you know, there's just so many different, like, phases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just don't know. And, like, the pinpoint ones that are funny is hard. They're just kind of in a everything. Every emotion <gasps> in one. <laughs> there's another one that Emily has you know? to choose. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm not. I'm not. I guess I don't. I don't luxury choose. luxury vacation. Who would be paid near Brandon? No. <laughs> and who has to stay at home? Oh. I'm not. I, I, on, I don't have an answer. I promise you. No, I mean, I would just take both. I would give them the trip and I would stay home. How about that? <laughs> wow. How about that? Emily's so selfless. <laughs> <laughs> I would give them the trip and stay at home. What a cop out. That okay. is a cop out, but it was really genuinely true. I would not choose either over the. Right. Okay, well, y'all, now y'all. Either are ever other. these. <laughs> One over the other. Now y'all answer that. For the other two people in the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might take Brandon. I'm sorry. Oh. What? <laughs> I like okay, let Brandon. me say this. Depending on the activity. It would depend on if where it's a handsome stop. trip and they're playing. Wait, if we're going back to the island kind of thing. Right. See, I'm that's taking Emily. True. Wait Let a me minute. say this too. Please Let me say this too. So I can't choose. Emil, I mean, out of everybody in the car, Bucky is by far the most traveled. So if yes, we were going yes. let's let's say the trip was to like Israel, I would take Emily because Bucky's been there. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was interesting. But that would be kind of I'm gonna go back. Do people take luxury vacations to Israel? Hell of a beef, yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh, that's true. Now that would it'd be romantical. Yeah. So depending on the, the vibe of the trip. The vibe. That's true, because me and B have done like handsome trips together. One time just well, it was supposed to be just me and Bucky going to see Justin Bieber. But then somehow <laughs> B weaseled in to where I got it. Brandon could not be left out. <laughs> I know I haven't. There were still tickets left like the day of. And they like, released a bunch of tickets. Ticket. And I was like, yeah, just get a ticket. It was actually really fun. That was in, Now, that was a long time ago. That was like... That was like the purple hoodie days, if y'all remember that Bieber era. The Believe Tour. Period. Right? So what was that, 2012? I was living in It Raleigh. was right after college. So, y'all, that was a long time Is ago. Is there another one? Yeah. So, we have done stuff Did you separately. finish your blizzard? Y'all, I don't know how. I literally I said was, that. You I'm were not saying you were all. like. You want to mine? No. You were like the most yeah. bull out of all three of us. Y'all, Bucky gets so full. There's something about this blizzard, though. It literally just oh, went down so easily. It's it so good. It's hard to stop. Um, and it's kind of melty, so it's kind of like a milkshake now. One YouTuber, I feel like we probably answered this at some point on the channel. One YouTuber you'd want to collab with. And what's your nastiest habit? Okay, I have this. I'll start. You just tongue pop? <laughs> yeah. I've been, been working on some different things ever quarantine. <laughs> including makeup, but one day I'll... Maybe I'll do a get ready with me one day. That'd be fun. I, I just would need y'all to come over and film it. Because I don't have any... Because I don't need... Yeah. I, don't, I no longer have my tripod thing. Let me know if you like to see Get Ready With Me and see my makeup routine, y'all. I've actually been working on my makeup. And we can highlight the GW. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Get Ready With yeah. Me. Oh my God, that'd be fun. Um, okay, so I have a couple different answers. That's okay. 
Um, for Mukbang, it has to be Be Love's Life. She's still my queen. I still watch her all the time. Um, I would just have to request that we have tofu with the boil and that the sauce doesn't have chicken stock in it. I'm kind of a difficult guest. But I would want to do a boil with her. For yeah. sure. Mukbang collab, hands down, Be Love's Life. I love you. Um, otherwise... I mean, I gotta say Trisha. Um, I mean, for like a lifestyle video that's or, who, that's or a who, musical video because she loves theater and we all love that's theater. That's who I would say too. I mean, what was the last part of the question? Um, or honestly, like, <clears throat> you're nasty at habit. Oh, I play with my eyebrows. It's more like annoying than nasty, I think. So I bought my nails, which is nasty. Oh, well, okay, you don't have is to show it? Them. I mean, yeah, they're not sanitary, like, he and, does it, and I, like, they bleed, and you know that whole nine yards. You get down to the. Yeah. And then my my dream collab will be probably Trisha, or maybe like, like I would love to do like a big music video thing, like kind of Todrick does. I think that'd be fun to be in. So maybe that. Cool. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Bucky, are you gonna um, answer the question? I mean. My nastiest habit is probably also biting my nails. I feel like that's the only weird thing that I really do. Um, no, your nastiest habit is definitely picking your boogers and eating them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Because <laughs> I can say that and people are going to believe that it's real because, you know, like. And uh, there's no. Yeah. What? Because you're just either going to believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> well, her outfit. Um, but, anyways, definitely biting my. Okay, I will be honest. It is definitely biting my fingernails <laughs> and then using it like as like a toothpick. Ew, Bucky. I do that too. That's bad. I just want to know, does anybody <laughs> I else, do that. I like, feel like that is like one of the biggest secrets that I've ever like told you to. I do that. I didn't even world. know that. Yeah. That is my That's biggest That's so secret. easy to do. I mean, I guess it is like a functional, like it makes sense, but Does other gross. people do that? I don't know. You know what I'm else sure I do? do. That I think a lot of people think would think is nasty, and Bucky like yells at me all the time because I just got choked on one the other day. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what this was that was in your mouth. When so I, so when I buy a new piece of clothing or something, you know like the little plastic, the little thin plastic piece that attaches a tag? Yep. When I rip it off, I like to chew on it. Boo, that what? could be dangerous. It was brown. It almost went down yeah, the Yeah, it was, it was from a pair of, a package of socks. All right, you have to stop doing that. That could be dangerous. And y'all, we were literally like out literally the other day. And by. I like laughed and it like went in the back of my throat. And I was like, it like it, I literally, I had to stand there and be like, no. like yeah, I swear. And it came back up? Yeah, I was just shot right back up. My dad swallowed that. a toothpick one time and had to like go to the doctor. <gasps> oh, that's rough. Cause it was like scratching stuff. Like he started <laughs> laughing. He choked on the um the sunflower seeds. Remember you were telling me that's that story. We were in the car. We were like driving down to Florida and Bucky. Cause some one of us had like sunflower seeds, and you were like, "Be careful." I think I was probably talking about the toothpick. Dad's toothpick. Okay, maybe. maybe. But you had a cautionary tale. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, I just. I'm intrigued if other people do that. I know it's so nasty and you probably don't want to admit it even if y'all do. But if you do, then put like the number five down below in the comments. And then people <laughs> won't really know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Only yeah, oh, yeah. will know. Um, <clears throat> I guess unless they watch the video, then they will know. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So let's do... Do like one or two one more? Right. Okay. Who do you, you want to collab know? with? Oh, oh, yeah. You can answer that. Um, I would say... Definitely like Nikocado. I am totally just kidding. <laughs> but um, I would say, hmm. Y'all, I know it's like, I can't say who, I can't say. Oh, Lord. You know what I mean? Like, I can't say it on. They're problematic. TV. Yeah. Oh, so wow. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> well, we just won't say it. Go to the next question. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably can assume, yeah. but I'm not going to say. Okay. Um, let's see. There was, a li literally, there was another one. Oh, this was kind of, so I guess, cool. for me and Brandon. Who did you first tell you guys were a couple, and how did they take it? Do you know? Honestly, I mean, it might have been was, Emily. Emily was close up. One there, of the first. Not. I don't think I was the first. But one of. One of. I was top five for sure. Who else? What? 
Maybe three. Maybe your cousin? Yeah. My cousin? Yeah. She was like, uh, she she might have been first. Yeah, she might have been. I feel actually. like y'all have told me that, yeah. <clears throat> Did she um, watch these? I don't know. Oh, she would like these, I feel like. Okay, we'll just finish on this one because okay. it's like a food one. Um, <laughs> What would be your death row meal? Oh my God. Like, if you could only have one last meal, what oh, would it be? That's a good one to end on. That is such a hard question. Do either of you have, like, an answer that just pops immediately? I think mine would be a filet with, like, good, good Brussels sprouts. Like... You're going to Del Frisco's. Yeah. Like, right. that type of thing. Like... Gourmet. A big steak. Like, a huge steak. Like, I want to get sick off the steak. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to get full off of it. Right. So I don't want it to be like a but, petite thing. And you gotta have a carb, boo. A what? A carb. Um, there's just like no, like, there's not a carb that I just like love. Mac and cheese, probably. Yeah. That would probably be like. Cause you like fries, but you don't like live. Yeah, like yeah. I, if there's other options, I would pick like broccoli or Brussels sprouts over <laughs> fries, even if I wasn't on a Bucky like a loves diet. broccoli. Yeah. You should start a broccoli challenge on YouTube. And just eat like just eat. a ton of. You heads do of bro love broccoli, but it has love. to be cooked right. Yeah, you love it from like a Chinese restaurant. Yes, and I love like that Texas Roadhouse where it's like in this garlic butter. <gasps> mm. Oh God, that so, is. But it's good. lemon garlic butter. Lemon that's, garlic. that's what that's we love. <gasps> oh. Mine would be a mix of things. <clears throat> I would have a Texas Roadhouse side salad with ranch and their yeast rolls with cinnamon butter. Mm. I would have Arby's curly fries. I would have these homemade chicken tenders from this place back where I'm from called Midtown. And good ranch for dipping. Yeah. And. Oh, good ranch. Honest to God. And you tofu? Maybe, probably a. Um, Honestly, I just had dessert. some of that last night. Mm. Probably like a, a cookie skillet. Like a chocolate chip cookie, mm, real hot and with doughy with, with vanilla ice cream on top of whipped cream and some peanut butter sauce. So you wanted chilies for dessert. <laughs> Probably. Just that kind of vibe. Yeah. And maybe like, in addition to the Arby's curly fries, a side of Bojangles fries. Mm. Oh, But like God. that are hot. Yeah. And, like <gasps> and they're honey mustard. And everything's so hot and, you know, hot, hot now. Hot and then, uh, and then, and honestly, it up, little Caesar. And honestly, the last thing I would put in my mouth would be a hot now Krispy Kreme donut. Oh, that'd be the last. That's how I go out. Oh, right before they oh. inject or whatever. <gasps> Those are so good. We thought about doing that today because it just pure melts. It melts. Yeah, the the, mm. the hot and ready sign wasn't on when we drove by. It's hot now. And are there Easter flavors? Well, this go out before Easter. <laughs> yeah, this. Y'all know there's Easter flavors. This will go out tomorrow. Oh my gosh, day? I'm so excited to be back in a video, y'all. I, I do love the Southern Snackers. Southern We're Southern Snackers. Eating, snacking, <laughs> <me> <laughs> you should film that, me doing, singing that with like tears running down my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think We're you're right. Eating, <laughs> snacking, <laughs> eating, and laughing. Oh yeah. the Southern Snackers. It is an iconic channel for sure. Um, okay, last meal. Um... So this will go a few ways, like Italian, just good old mm. like veggie burgers. You feel me, like? <sighs> but what? But just a few. Like I did a, I did a like a mishmash. You yeah. did like a, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do a really good veggie burger, not black bean burger. I'm not a big fan of those. Good veggie burger, fully loaded cheese, you know, mayo, ketchup, lettuce <laughs> down every little, thing. <laughs> every little tomato, detail. onion for sure. Um, I'd say a side of fries, but where are they from? Um, you know what? It's just like McDonald's fries are so good, mm. even though I don't really eat them. But, uh, okay, I'm going to eat McDonald's fries and just whatever's on them is on them because it's the <laughs> last meal. Um, I got to get for some dips. I got, oh, I got to get sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's. Mm. Okay, then I got to, um, I need a side of onion rings from somewhere, maybe Burger King with the zesty sauce. Th those are really bomb. Um, oh, I need a Pizza Hut pizza, hand tossed, green peppers, onions with some really good ranch. And, um, I think I'm going to skip the salad at this point. 
Maybe some really good like fettuccine alfredo with some broccoli mm. in it. Mm. Just like to slurp up something really good. Um, maybe some like maybe another type of noodle, like some oh maybe like a plate from a uh, Pan Express. Oh yeah, their chow mein is I didn't so think about good. Like, like a oh hibachi. Or I was gonna Ooh. say I need something with yes, so it's definitely like Pan Express. Some cream cheese rangoons with some sweet and sour sauce, and then for dessert. I think um, funfetti cake and maybe like a slice of cheesecake will do. Mm. And I'll, I'll wash down with Diet Coke. Like, I don't think I want alcohol. Yeah, just Diet Coke. Oh, I didn't think about what to drink. Mr. Pib. Hmm. Probably. Not sweet tea? Mm-mm. Mr. Pib. Y'all, I don't even know when the last time I've had sweet tea is. Me either. Which is so weird. Y'all, in college, y'all used to drink it a lot. I've got to where I drink unsweet. I, I like put a little sweet. Sweet in it. I don't love yeah. that either. But like, you get used I to used it. to love sweet tea. Yeah, we all grew up on and that. And I'm well, kind of scared. through our veins. Well, also, <laughs> that's I would be scared to try it again because I don't want to fall in love with it again. I know. Oh, because it is Not that like soda is better or like even diet soda. I mean, I guess diet soda is a little bit better just depending on what It does have more chemical. For. Right. Mm -hmm. But at it this point, on what you're... like... There's chemicals all in my body. It's like pick your poison kind of thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was fun. A little Q&A with the snackers. That was fun, y'all. Um, We've been on here for 30 minutes. We'll do another one. It's so been we'll a while. We're catching Let up. us know if you wanted us to do another. We got so many questions, y'all. So you don't really need to ask us new Part questions. because we got tons. <clears throat> but y'all still can put them down there if you want. Um, and we'll do another little Q&A video. All right, y'all. Got anything else y'all want to say? Uh, tell us what to eat. Oh, yeah. Because I am coming back to the channel, okay. y'all, for real. Yeah, we need to do, like, a legit mukbang again. Like, y'all need to just come over and we get a spread. We need to sit down with a spread. I'm going to yeah. say, I'm going to make my own recommendation, but I'm already knowing y'all are going to see it. Would y'all like to see Cheesecake Factory? We've never done that. That's true. Oh, we've never I done that. I live close to and one. You, you, yeah. And we have a gift card to one. I live oh, in the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> no, we used it. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway. I don't think I... But we'll, would y'all like to see that? I'm sure, right? <laughs> I mean, that's iconic. I feel like nobody's going, no, don't eat chicken later. <laughs> but y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified when we upload a new video. And y'all remember, when life gets tough, just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.